guys, so today I'm going to be filming my makeup collection. Um, I've done some of these videos quite a few times over the years. I will try and look them all down below because they're all very different. Um, as you guys know if you've watched my previous makeup collection, I have the IKEA Alex 9 drawer unit to store my makeup in. Um, I've changed kind of the storage solutions inside the Alex drawers um, quite recently and they're quite different. I really like the storage I've got now um, and kind of I just didn't like it before so I thought I'd show you it today. Uh, show you everything I've got in there. I've also got quite a few new bits uh, since my last makeup collection so there'll be a lot more in there. Definitely just stop buying makeup. Most YouTubers start these videos and say well I need loads of products to review and I do but I just love makeup to be honest and that's why there's so much in there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, also a little disclaimer I'm not bragging I just absolutely love makeup. I buy most of it with my own money otherwise it gets sent to me and yeah I just love the stuff really, I'm not going to lie. So I thought I'd show you my makeup collection at the moment. So I'm going to start at the top here where you can see my makeup brushes. I've got this pot here which is full of all of my everyday brushes. Um, face brushes and eye brushes, brushes that I like to use every day. I don't use every single one of these every day, but they're brushes that I reach for the most. In here I've got some Sephora ones, um, some of these from Kirkland Beauty that I mentioned in my what I got for Christmas haul, um, a little spoon for my eyebrows, um, some Look Fantastic brushes, Real Techniques, what else have we got in here? Another Sephora. I've also got these brushes that um, my dad got me them from eBay. Um, and they're really, really good. So I'll try and find something similar to link down below. More look fantastic. The kind of cheap dupe of the 217 that I get off eBay. Um, and loads of different brushes in there. So they're kind of my everyday brushes. Then in this one here, in the middle, I have um, face brushes that I don't use every single day. Um, I'm really sad that this Real Techniques ones is in there because I do like this brush. I like the look of it, but actually using it on my face, it's not that great. Um, again, just loads of different brushes in here. Uh, Lottie powder brush, some, I don't know what this is actually, Bajellium tools, <laughs> uh, stippling brush, just brushes I don't use every day. And then the one right on the end is uh, my eye brushes that I don't use every day either, but again ones that I'll still, still reach for kind of on a, I don't know, every, sing every other week or something. At the top here I have my perfumes, so I have lots of different ones here, I've got quite a few for Christmas, I've got Tom Ford Black Orchid that I got for Christmas, Victoria Royal Flower one which has got the tiniest bit left in it but I thought I'd keep it, Paco Ban Olympia, um, uh, what's this one, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue which I really like for the summer months, um, Armani Diamonds, uh, what else, Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir, uh, what's this one, Juicy Couture, what is it? Viva La Juicy, that's what that one is. I then got Vivian Westwood Naughty Alice, a little sample of a Lancome perfume. Um, Cheryl Coles, what one is this called? Stormflower, which I really like. And then uh, Paco Band Lady Million at the front there. So quite a different few <laughs> perfumes in there. At the side here is really sad. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Bronze, Film Star Bronze and Glow. And sadly, the bronze is cracked in here. Um, so that's why it's sat there on the side, sadly. In this part of the back I have my palettes and my tripod won't reach all the way up here so I'm going to get this down and show you what I've got here. So in here I have quite a few different palettes. I have this Stila one that I absolutely love uh, which is the Stila Eyes Are The Window Shadow Palette in the colour Soul and it is beautiful. I won't show you every single one but I've got Urban Decay 1, 2, 3 and the Smoky palette in here. I've got two Zoeva palettes that I got for Christmas. Um, I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette in here, uh, the La Rock Pro Palette is also in here um, and the last one in here is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Palette which if you watch my weekly vlogs <sighs> has smashed if you can see at the side there um, I dropped it on the floor and well it was a very sad moment <laughs> and I mentioned it in my weekly vlog but I do really like this palette even though it is now smashed um, so these are the ones that I keep on the top of my vanity also on the top of this I also keep my Urban Decay setting spray on here and would also normally be the Makeup Revolution setting spray as well in this first drawer here I have all of my foundation so in this middle row here I have like a small row on this side right at the edge which is basically got kind of like primers in random things right shoved in the end and then my foundations in the middle here are all drugstore so I've got kind of Rimmel ones, Bourjois, L'Oreal towards the back of the drawer here I've got more darker foundations which are kind of like my summer months this is one of my favourite foundations um, it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation I love that one uh, I have just quite a few I really like the 
Give Him All Lasting 25 Hour Foundation as well, uh, which is this one. And yeah, I just really like quite a lot of the foundations in here. I do find though at the moment, I've got a lot of the foundations in here are kind of quite dark for my skin. Um, so I need to get some more that kind of suit my winter color. Here on the end, I have my high end foundations. In here are my absolute favorites. So I have Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is my complete favorite. I love this one. I have the Too Faced Ball and Sew Foundation, which I've recently done a first impressions on, so I'll link it down below. I've got, what else have we got in here? We've got so many. We've got the Chanel Vitalina Aqua, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation is also in here. Um, Makeup Forever and Matte Velvet Plus, which is one I used to absolutely love and I haven't used that much recently. Uh, we've got the Tarte Amazonian Clay one, which I'm holding upside down right now. <laughs> we've also got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, again holding it upside down, you know, hey ho. Um, and yeah, just so many in here. At the front here we've got the Dior Star Foundation um, and also the MAC, what's this one? Is it the Pro Longwear? Yeah, the Pro Longwear Foundation. Um, and there's just so many in here. Um, there's the Dior Air Flash at the back. Um, and some other MAC ones at the back and just some random ones to be honest. Nars Sheer Glows at the back um, and yeah, just so many foundations in here, it's ridiculous. This drawer here is probably my favourite drawer. Um, I've got all of kind of my bronzers at, on this side here, uh, all kind of nicely lined up. Um, and then I've got highlighters at the front here. I've got Becca Champagne Pop, uh, Mary Luminizer by The Balm, uh, one from Physicians Formula, which is really pretty packaging, and then one from New Look at the back here as well, and then two mini high beams at the front. Then at the back here, we've got powders. Um, I've got loads of different ones. I've got some loose ones. I've got the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, Powder Foundation here as well. Um, the Gosh, what's this one called? Prime and Set Powder. Uh, the Soap and Glory uh, one, heck of a blot is it called, yeah? The Bourgeois Healthy Balance, got a MAC uh, Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder. Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Found, uh, not foundation, powder with no lid on the front. Uh, you know, that's always great. And then over here I have liquid concealers. So I have ones like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I also have the collection Last Imperfection Concealer, but that has gone underneath my bed and rolled under, so I can't show you that. Uh, then this is the Estee Lauder, what's this one? The Double Wear Brush On Glow uh, Concealer. I have lots of the collection Illuminate illuminating touch concealers, Maybelline Better Skin, uh, Rimmel Wake Me Up, what else is in here, Bourgeois Healthy Mix, oh my beloved Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer uh, which is so run out, um, I don't know what else we've got in here, loads of liquid concealers, lots of Kiko of the Kiko, what's this called? Natural Concealer. I love this one. Then at the back here, I have um, kind of cream concealers in like pots and stuff. So I have the Bobbi Brown uh, Creamy Concealer Duo. I have the, uh, what's this one? The Benefit Erase Paste. Um, I don't use these ones as much, I have to say. I've got the Bobbi Brown Corrector here in the colour Light Bisque. I have the 17 4 paint and I absolutely hate this. I should probably get rid of it, but I've got that one. Um, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer, which is like a cream concealer in here. Uh, the MAC, what's this one called? The Studio Sculpt Concealer in this packaging. Um, I also have the Studio, is it the Studio Finish? Yeah, Studio Finish Concealer in here. As you can see, this is very old. It probably needs throwing away and I've used nearly all of it. Um, Anyway, loads of different ones in here. I have the e.l.f. I don't even know what this is called, but it's this thing. You like turn it up and like the concealer comes out the top. I used to love that when I was younger. That's actually quite a new one to be honest. I bought it quite recently. In this drawer, I have my blushes. So over here on this side, I have all of my MAC blushes. I have um, the, what are these called? I don't really know, Mineralize Skin Finishes. And this one here was from a collection um, a while back in the color Seen to be Seen. And then I also have Stereo Rose in there. Lots of MAC blushes back here. I love MAC blushes. I then right at the back here, have one from Kiko. This is the Kiko Milano blusher. Um, and it's one of their, from their collection. I think it was a summer collection. Um, and that's just really pretty. And then down the middle here, I have kind of every other blush uh, that I own. I have a few Milani ones at the front uh, that are really pretty, they're the baked ones. I have um, some Kiko blushes, which I love. I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay blusher here, um, another Kiko one, um, some sleek blushes, which I really like these sleek ones, I think they're really nice and pigmented. I have a few e.l.f. ones back here, as well, the e.l.f. studio blushes I think they were called. I brought all of them and then realised that some of them I didn't even like, so I've kept like, how many is there, six. 
And I've got another Kiko one back here. Kiko blushes are one of my favourite things ever. I have a Colourpop blush here uh, in the colour Between the Sheets, which looks like this, which is really nice. It's a weird consistency. Uh, I have an Elf Mineralized blush. Uh, lots of different ones. I have Physicians Formula. And these go all the way back. And I also have some Essence blushes in here. I love Essence. I think it's a great brand. Some NYX blushes. This is one of the NYX blushes that I got sent. And this one is really, really pretty. Such cute packaging. I also back here have one of my new beloved uh, Laura Geller blushes, which I absolutely love. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's my blusher drawer. And over on this side, I have all of my Benefit box powders. Um, and I even have Benefit Hula in here, just because I like them to all be together. I don't put Hula with my bronzers. So I have uh, Bella Bamba, what's this one called? I'm not very good at remembering names. Rob, uh, Coralista, Dallas, uh, Sugar Bomb, and Hula. And they are some of my favourite makeup products. I love the Benefit Box blushes. And at the front here, all cream blushes. So in here, I have like Benefit Majorette. I have, um, to be honest, this should probably be in the next drawer, but it's the MAC uh, Cream Colour Beige in the colour Hush. Um, what's this one? Oh, this isn't even a powder blusher. Let's put this one by the proper blushes. Um, I have quite a few of the NYX cream blushes. I really like these. Uh, the Stila Convertible Colour in Peony is one of my favourite cream blushes. Again, something that should be in the drawer above is the Topshop um, Glow Highlighter, which is like a cream highlighter. I have um, a Bourjois Aqua Blush here, uh, which I do like, but I do think it's a bit weird. It's a bit of a strange consistency. I have some of the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blushes as well. Um, and yeah, I really like cream blushes for in the summer, but at this time of the year, I don't really tend to use them. In this drawer here, I have all of my lipsticks, and I really like how this is organised. I just kind of split it into like quarters. Actually, I haven't even told you where these things are from, have I? Um, these were from eBay, and they're like drawer dividers, and you can cut them and like slot them in together and stuff. They were really affordable and cheap, so I will definitely um, pop those down below if I can find a link. Um, and they came quite quickly. I ordered the ones from the UK instead of from China, so they were a little bit more expensive, but they weren't that expensive. I just ordered quite a few packs. I think I ordered four packs. Um, and then, yeah, I just kind of slotted them into all the drawers, and I just absolutely love how they look. In the front here, I have kind of random lipsticks. So here I have some from NYX, I have uh, some from Essence, um, all my Kiko ones are in here, so I have kind of these Kiko ones here. Kiko lipsticks don't say what they are on the packaging, but I really like these ones. I think they're probably colour stylo or something. Anyway, that's the ones in there, and these ones are kind of like my higher end lipsticks. So here I've got three Chanel lipsticks, which I've actually got four Chanel lipsticks. I've got the Rouge Coco ones, and then this one here, which is the Rouge Allure Velvet, which I brought recently with my boot points. I have my Tom Ford lipstick, which is one of my favourites. The Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I got for Christmas from Bradley, um, my Makeup Forever lipstick here, what else in here, an Estee Lauder one, um, a little mini Burberry one, and then one that's fallen over, which is, oh, I don't know why this is in here, the Sugar, uh, Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Balm, that can stay stay in there though. And at the end here I have all of my MAC lipsticks um, and I have some of them in my kind of like purse and stuff like that um, but the majority are in here and they fit really nice and snug. So I have the one from the Wonder Woman collection which I love this packaging um, and then I have just so many different ones. This one's the Viva Glam 5 I think. I will try and show you some of them. Um, look how nice this is. Uh, that's one of my favourite nude lipsticks. I have this one, which is syrup. I'm just kind of pulling them out at random. It's a really nice kind of like purpley neutral colour. I have this one here from the Christmas collection last year, which I still haven't used. Um, and it's this, bro I think actually, I think I've used it once. It's this like vampy red colour, which is so pretty. I don't know if I just never got the chance to use it. And then when I do think I want to wear that colour, I don't actually wear that specific one. This is one of my favourite MAC lipsticks in the colour Diva. I love this. It's probably my absolute favourite. No, actually, Velvet Telly is my favourite, but that's just not in here at the moment because it's in my handbag because I use it every day. Then in this one at the back here, I keep the 17... I don't know what this is called. These are Mirror Shine. Mirror Shine lipsticks. I had all of these at one point. I absolutely loved them. So I have these. Um, I then have some ones from uh, Miner's Cosmetics, which I used to absolutely love. Um, some ones from MUA, some Primark ones, just kind of my cheapy lipsticks are in here to be honest, which I just still like, but they are in there. This middle one here, like the middle row, um, I've got all my e.l.f. lipsticks. So I've got kind of these ones which were from like the Essential range, which are like £1.50. I have these from Helen E. Cosmetics, which I got at the Clove Show. And I love the colours I've got in these. I've got the colour Vegas here, which is just so pretty. 
Look how nice that shade is, it's really nice. I then have one of my favourite Barium lipsticks here, which is in the shade 150, and it's just this really nice nude colour, I love that. Um, I then have all of my Rimmel lipsticks in here as well, so my Rimmel by Kate lipsticks and all of the normal ones as well. Then to the side here, I have um, Revlon lipsticks, um, some L'Oreal ones, number seven, and then basically the majority are Revlon. So I've got Revlon lip butters in here. I only got three of those actually in there. Um, I don't actually own many of them. I've got some of these new Revlon ones that they came out with. What are these ones called? The Ultra HD lipstick. I've got two of those. I've got quite a few of the Revlon, what are they called? Colour something. Oh, Super Lustrous lipsticks these are called. And this one is in the colour um, Pink in the Afternoon, this one. I used to love that. I really like the colour Black Cherry from this range. Then right at the back I have lip glosses. Um, so I just have real random ones. Um, I have these ones from Miners Cosmetics, which I absolutely love those. Uh, I have some Tanya Burr lip glosses in the back. I don't really use lip glosses. I have quite a few of the NYX Butter Glosses, which I do actually really like those ones. Uh, they're not sticky or anything. I have a few of the Tarte lip glosses which I got in a little Christmas set one year um, and I really like all of those and the one in the middle at the back I have kind of just like lip balms I have a few of the Clinique like stick lip balms I have the Soap and Glory I don't even sell this anymore but it's a great kisser lip balm it smells so good that one uh, the Corez lip balms which are some of my favourite tinted lip balms uh, this one's in the colour Wild Rose and I really like this one and then right at the back here in this corner, I have my Maybelline baby lips. And that's all that's in there, basically. And they're just, yeah, my little baby lips. I have nearly every single shade, I think. So in this drawer here, I have kind of lip products that aren't lipsticks or lip glosses. So lip pencils, lip lacquers, liquid lipsticks, that kind of thing. In the front here, I have, like, big, like, lipsticks. No, not lipsticks, like, lip liners. I don't know, not these. <laughs> More like the... Basically, I've just got loads of these NARS ones in here, <laughs> uh, which are the NARS Satin Lip Pencils. And it's just, like, bigger lip pencils, I guess. Um, I have some of the Maybelline Colour Drama ones, which I really like. These are my favourites. The Topshop Lip Bullet. I really like these. Um, and what else? The majority is just NARS. There's a couple of gosh ones in here. Um, but that is about it in there. On its second back here, I have all kind of like chubby sticks. Um, so here we have the Clinique ones. What else do we have in there? The Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lip, lip, whatever they're called, <laughs> glosses, balm things. The Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balms and the Normal Balms and all that kind of balms. <laughs> um, lots of the Revlon ones in there, so the majority are Revlon. But a couple of Bourjois ones in here as well, which I'm just trying to get one out, which this one here I really like, which is the Bourjois Colour Boost Balms. I have a couple of those. At the back here, I have um, more like liquid lipsticks. So I have like Sephora, the Sephora um, lip stain things, which are like my favourite things ever. Um, I have a H&M lip stain here which I really like. Um, I've got the L'Oreal Glam Matte in here which is the furthest thing from matte you can get. I've got one of the Fleur de Force, um, what are these actually called? They're just called lip gloss, yeah they're lip glosses but they're not a lip gloss, they're more of like a lip stain, lip, liquid lipstick type thing. Um, I have one of the Bare Minerals Pretty Amazing liquid lipsticks and I really like those and then a lot of the Rimmel Apocalypse as well which I used to absolutely love. Over on this side uh, we've kind of got more like I don't really know like lacquer balm or things like that. I've got loads of the Revlon what are these called Colour Stay Moisture Stains which I really like. These are some of my favourite lip balm lips lip products, lip balms, whatever they are. Um, and I really like these. These are the Bourjois Rouge Edition, Edition Velvets. I have quite a few of the shades. Then I have a YSL, what are these called? I keep forgetting the names today, don't I? Um, it doesn't actually say. These things. <laughs> Whatever they're called, they're like the liquid stain things. Um, I also have some of the L'Oreal ones, which are supposed to be similar to the um, YSL ones, but they're not in the slightest. I have some of the Maybelline ones, which look like this, which are more like a kind of like lip gloss, but not sticky. Then here, I have all of my lip liners. So they're all kind of in here. So I have, uh, which one's this? This is a Sephora one. I have um, a MAC one, which is MAC World. Um, I have lots of the Primark ones. I really like these. I also still have the packaging of the number seven precision lip liner here because I'm just, you know, hanging on to that bad boy. Uh, it's sadly been discontinued. I have a few of the other MAC ones, which this is MAC Pink Treat Cream Stick Liner. I have a couple of other MAC ones in here as well. And then right at the back here is a little bit random, I have to say. I've got kind of like balms and lip stains and everything. I've got some of these Rimmel ones here, which are quite nice. 
Um, I have lots of the little tart ones, again, that I got in their Christmas collection. I really like these balms. Um, I then have um, some of these, which are like the... Um, this is this is the Miner's Matte Factor, but there's loads of different ones, different variations of these. Like this one, the Collection Cream Puff. They're like a creamy matte lipstick. So that is that drawer, which is one of my favourites. I love all the things in there. I then have my eye drawer here, where I have, in the side here at the front, I have like eyeliners and brow products. So I have some of the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. My favourite, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade. A NYX gel liner, um, a NYX, what is this called? The Precision Eyebrow Gel, uh, which I really, really like. Maybelline Brow Satin here, um, Clinique liner is my favourite one, wherever it is in here somewhere, is the this one here, the Makeup Gallery One Pound Eyeliner, and all of those in the front there. Then in here, I have single eyeshadows. Um, so I have some of the um, H&M shadows. Um, which other ones do I have in here? I can show you. I have um, some Kiko ones. I have a H&M, um, what's this called? Cream shadow. A lot of the ColourPop um, shadows. We only have like five. I then have the Maybelline um, colour tattoos in here as well. Um, I have like three of those or four of those. I then have the Kiko, what are these called? The Cool Touch eyeshadows, I absolutely adore these. I then have some of these L'Oreal eyeshadows, uh, which are really nice, I love these ones. Um, and yeah, there's quite a few different ones, and some of the 17 eyeshadows as well, which are lovely if you want some drugstore eyeshadows. And then in the back here, um, I have cream shadows that I can't fit in the front here with these. So I have a lot of the Kiko um, cream shadows here. Um, I then have, what else is in here? The Bobbi Brown cream shadow, whatever this one is. The L'Oreal, no these aren't L'Oreal, these are the Max Factor Excess Shimmers. And then other side here I have smaller palettes that I can't fit in my next drawer. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette, which I might put in the next drawer to be honest. Um, I have the Smashbox Double Exposure palette, but in like a mini version, which I love. Um, I have the NARS Duo in, what's this called, Cadora, uh, which is one of my favourite things ever. I have um, the NARS, um, something to, it's the NARS Assist um, Smoky Eye Set, which is really pretty. And I then also have uh, a Wet n Wild eyeshadow here as well back here. And it's a 401 and all random things back there. And this is the last drawer of makeup in my Ikea Alex. Basically, this drawer used to be a nail varnish, but I've now had to put nail varnish in the drawer below because I needed an extra drawer, basically, for my makeup. So here I have all kind of like eyeshadow sticks, which I know seems weird having it with like all the palettes, but they won't fit in this one up here. So I have to kind of put them down here. So I have some bourgeois um, colour band um, ones. Have a by Terry Ombre Black Star in the colour Brown Perfection, which I absolutely love that. Um, I have some Rimmel Scandalize ones. Um, I just really like these kind of shadows. Um, I have tons of the Kiko, what are these called? Long Lasting Stick eyeshadows. I love these. Um, I have loads of those. So yeah, they're all in there. And then I have, over here I have eyeshadow palettes. Uh, that won't fit in the one above or won't fit on top of my vanity and stuff like that. So I have an Estee Lauder palette here, um, a Makeup Revolution one, two um, MUA palettes here. Um, I have, um, what are these ones? Three Sleek palettes, which I really like Sleek eyeshadows. I have one of these which is called Given. I got it from like an Italian makeup shop, I really like it. I then have the collection um, Little Mix uh, palette, which is really nice. The Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, which is one of my favourites. Um, then this one, which is the NYX, what is it even called? The Golden Horizons palette, which I got sent from NYX, and it's really pretty. Uh, and then one at the front, there's another NYX 10 colour eyeshadow palette, um, and also the Bobbi Brown palette that I got for Christmas. This is what this one looks like, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so that's at the front, and then I also have my two Urban Decay uh, Naked Basics here as well, uh, number one and two. Then at the back here, I just have kind of like face palettes. Um, so I have the NARS, NARS Assist palette here, I've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting palettes, but, uh, palettes? Um, ambient Lighting palettes, um, a Sleek Blush palette, what else is in here, another NARS palette which is really pretty, uh, with loads of blushes and bronzers and highlighters in there, I have two Makeup Revolution palettes, I have the Radiance palette, 
is a dupe of the one, uh, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I also have a blush palette by, by Makeup Revolution. That looks like that, which is really pretty. Um, I then have the Smashbox um, Contour Kit here as well. What that looks like, which is really nice, one of my favourite contour palettes. And I also have the Urban Decay Naked um, Flushed Palette here as well, which I mentioned a couple of times recently. I really like this. Also, just back here, right at the back, I have my MAC palette, um, just because I haven't really got anywhere else to put it at the moment. So that is the end of my makeup collection. It's taken me so long to film. I'm really sorry for the long video, guys. But I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my makeup collection. I will try and link not every product. <laughs> I will try and link all of the storage down below, like the IKEA Alex, the uh, brush pops that I got, um, kind of like all the storage and stuff. Um, the copper tray that was on top of my drawers is from Tiger. Um, so I won't be able to link that down below because um tiger isn't online but everything else i will try and link down below which are like inside my drawers and stuff like that and yeah so thank you very much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i will speak to you next time bye look how pretty this is <laughs> um it's so cute it's ah oh, i've been filming for such a long time <laughs>